Hello YouTube, this is 1234LA Blank here. Just gonna show you a tutorial on how to do a simple muzzle flash in VideoPad Video Editor. So first thing you do is open that up. I already have it open up down here. And you click on Add Media. Which you can find your footage where you wad the muzzle flash in. So here's my footage. And there it is. So first thing you're going to do is drag that down to the timeline. I sim I very much recommend you use timeline because that'd be a better way to do it, just in my opinion. So now we're, you're going to scan through your footage to find where you fire your gun or pen or whatever you're shooting. And there, that's about where I'm going to shoot it. Then you import your muzzle flash. Now I'm not going to use a picture and then a smoke footage because I just don't like doing that. So I downloaded a video off YouTube and that I used FreeMake Video Downloader which that's a free thing you can get to download videos off YouTube. So and what you're going to do is drag your muzzle flash footage down to the overlay track. So now that you have your footage and your t um, overlay track, you are going to find, well since my footage has a whole bunch of muzzle flashes, I'm going to scan through to see which one I want, which one would be more suitable for me. And let's see. Um, sometimes it takes a while. Some people are really picky about their muzzle flashes. Uh, I'll go with that one. Why not? And now find where it ends. Smoke. Da -da 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 -da. I put blue flag where it ends. So now here we have our muzzle flash. Now you will adjust the size on the muzzle flash. Now that's about right. But as you can see, there's all this black screen covering up my footage and I don't want that there so here's what we're going to do. You're going to go in the chroma key which is right here right beyond these things and you are going to bring the background all the way down and the foreground all the way up and there you go but see it's facing the wrong way so we're going to go to effects and then rotate so we're going to rotate it this way, and this way. Now we have it facing the right way. That's one slight problem. As you can see, it's blowing out of my arm. But we weren't blowing out of the gun, obviously. So we are going to use the adjust margins. And before you do that, you could, I would move it down here so because right here you can only move it vertically but when you move it down here you can move it horizontally and vertically so I would recommend that so you're going to open that up and move it about where you want it so we're going to move out 36 so that looks a little too big 25 maybe 25 looks good now we're going to move it up a little let's try 30 well it's a little too high so we're going to I have to play with it. It's, it's definitely something you have to play with. But oh, let's move it in a little more. Twenty-two. That's about good. So let's preview it. And there we go. Our muzzle flash. It's a little too bright though. So let's take down the opacity a little bit. There we go. And now you're going to add your gun sound in, which you can get from royal royalty-free or, um, you know, whatever, sound bible. That's where I get my gun sounds. Let's see, what am I going to use? Let's use a uh, Breda M9. And there we go. I'll drag that down to soundtrack 1. And zoom up just a little bit. And line up 
the sound effect with the muzzle flash exactly where it shoots. So let's replay that. That looked about right. So now what you do is I'm just gonna play with the brightness on this a little so I'm gonna go brightness. Gonna bring it down, bring it up a little. No. Alright. Take it. Bring put in some contrast. Okay. And there you have it now. Here's the preview. See, very simple. Now, of course, you're gonna go to file, save movie, and then you're gonna go down here, change it whatever you wanna call it, uh call it tutorial. And save it into videos. That's what I'm gonna save it into. And then you can play at the file format. Uh and then you are going to press OK. Might take a while to convert or make your video movie, but there you have it. There's your tutorial. So thank you. Comment if or like, rate it if you think it helped. So thank you. Goodbye. Wait, don't go. I will put a link for a video pad if you don't already have it downloaded it down in the link below, and I'll put I'll even throw in a link for free make. But you have to download Microsoft Net 4 framework. So, comment, subscribe, like I said before. Thank you. Goodbye.